welcome to the Project Swatch. This is Serpy. No, today we're doing a follow up on a story that right, we dropped on the channel a very long time ago. I think it was within the first year right, of the movement. It surrounds a man by the name of Roger Chang, right, who went missing. And then when they find him, right, unfortunately, like many people who go missing in Jamaica, he was dead. Right. Now, the story involved a kerosene. And after the police, Wolan Pan, most of the people them, who were involved, right, we now have an ending to the case for most of the people them, involved. But before I go any further, I want to send a special Patreon birthday shout out to SP, right, all the way in Canada, right, you know, that's the Canadian branch of the Patreon squad, right, so SP, you know, you are tuning as usual, right, big up yourself, hope you have a great day, right, enjoy yourself to the fullest. Remember, say moderation is the key, right? Because we want you to live until them sun you, as Jamaican people are say. So, SP, big up yourself and thanks for the continued support. See, long time Patreon squad member, big up. So, Roger Chang went missing in March 2020. He was last seen with a female by the name of Kadisha McKenzie, right? She was a known um, dancer, right? You know, go go dancer, right? You know, she do her thing, party girl. So, Roger Chang and Kadisha McKenzie end up link up on Tinder, right? they meet up in person. Right? This trip where him lose him life wasn't the first time they come across each other. They meet before, right? probably hang around her, you know, probably start to gain him trust, and then him start to think to himself, say, you know what, we can start to go out of town. Now we can start to make some more trips because, you know, may I get to know this girl. Well, it turns out Roger Chang did not know that girl. Kadisha McKenzie was a kerosene. So the plan was Roger Chang and the kerosene were going to head to St. Mary or stop on river, have a little swim, maybe drink some drinks and you know enjoy themselves. Well that's what was in Roger Chang's mind. He never knew say, there was a much bigger plot. So on the way right, the man them stick up Roger Chang. Six people were involved, but only five were convicted. Never tell any of them sentence, right? And why one of them, right, they get convicted yet. In the process of robbing, right, the 62 year old man, him see them face. And because them realize, say, him know them look like now, and even the kerosene realize, say, Roger Chang is now aware of the fact that she's involved, they decided, say, I better to kill him. But on everybody agree upon the murder. It turns out say three of the people them on the robbery, right, decide say them not kill him. Right. So like them definitely come to rob. Right. And these three were actually minors. You must say if you're under 18, right, according to the law, right, you're an adult. Then just take the money, take him things, and left the other three. The other three was the kerosene. Kadisha McKenzie, uh, Seabird Dugan, and Kadisha McKenzie's boyfriend. Them carry the man and go stab him up and kill him. So that means say uh, this entire time, Kadisha McKenzie's boyfriend, can I name him? Right, but Kadisha McKenzie's boyfriend was well aware of the fact that his girlfriend right, was, let's just say, frolicking with Roger Chang. Right, and the intention was to gain him trust. And carry him come, like could rob him. So this went down from March 2020, but now we are starting to hear right, the sentencing. It turns out five of them plead guilty. I'm going to read out the sentence that I'm going to get, and I'm going to tell you about the sixth individual who is the boyfriend right, of Mackenzie. So the curious scene was sentenced to quote unquote life. I must say quote unquote because I know it's not real life. After 22 years and 6 months, she'll be eligible for parole. In other words, if she have good behavior and all things going well right, in a jail for her, she could be out in 22 years and 6 months. The next youth would do the killing, right, Dugan, he was sentenced to quote unquote life as well, but it's 24 years and 6 months before him eligible for parole so him get two extra years right 
on top of him at King's again. As for the other three youths then, remember the one who said them not nah kill him, they just want to rob him. Cousins was sentenced to 8 years and 2 months. Jackson was sentenced to 8 years and 4 months. Right. And Reed right, was sentenced to 9 years and 11 months. Now, the sixth individual, who is the boyfriend, as I say, for the kerosene, he plead not guilty. Now, that youth, we say him plead not guilty. If he lose the case, him sentence are probably be the worst out of all of them. Not just because him plead not guilty, but the fact that everybody else plead guilty, that means say, the police them right, have a full breakdown as to what happened right, and know exactly what role him play. When you see six people do something like this, and five of them confess and plead guilty, when you was the sixth man, go say you plead not guilty, you're going to be in for a warm time. Because everybody don't talk already. Everybody don't confess already. So you're going to court to argue against five people. Five people who say, yes, I was there. Yes, this happened. Some say we rob him, right. but we left. Next set say, yeah. We care I'm gonna say or kill him. Right. And you think your name the call? You think all five are gonna come together and decide if they gonna make you get away? Well, it sounds like a slam dunk for the prosecution, but we have to remember Jamaica we are talking about. And we've seen spooky than this. We've seen cases that look like a sure thing, right? And the next thing a year, man walk. But based on the fact say the other five confess plead guilty, this youth is going to be in for a very long time. By Jamaican standards, which is about 28 years. It's not like Uncle Sam place where sentence you to triple life plus 52. Because if Judge Agus sentence me to three life sentence plus 52, right in the courtroom, may I forgot to ask the judge, Your Honor, what the 52 for? I troll you, I troll me, I You yeah, give me triple life Plus 52. Right. See, I tell me, say, if I'm dead, come back, right. go back to jail, dead again, come back, right. go back to jail, I still I got have 52 years to do. After just doing three generations of sentence, three lifetime of sentence, still have 52. So this story show you right, a perfect example as to how curious scenes are. Right play a major role in crime in Jamaica. You have a woman who meet a man on Tinder, probably tell the man everything he want here, meet up with him, probably was the nicest, sweetest girl he ever meet, and probably think she's different or she really likes me because she must have been putting on an Oscar winning performance. She earned his trust, him start plan, you know, trip to go St. Mary and all boat. This man was 62, Usually when time people get to that age, them start to relax a little, you know, let down them girl and I say, you know what? I've been working hard my whole life, I'm enjoying myself. When I go up and I look at one trip with her, look, you know, nice young lady. And she's so nice to me, she treat me so good. She don't look like she really want much from me. And you have to understand that so these kerosene are experts at faking it. So she probably tell the man, say, oh, she don't want nothing. And he probably offer her some gifts. And she's like, no, I don't want nothing from you. All I want is your love. You see them thing they catch man, you know? Them little kerosene tactics to catch enough man. Right? Oh, no man, you don't have to buy me nothing, man. Alright, right. Me just, me just like the around you. When you're a man and you hear that, right, you start to think, Oh, she, she, she real. Do you know she real? Oh, she's real, alright. A real kerosene. People that say, But him should have known this and him should have known that. Let me tell you something. Roger Chang is not the first man to be led astray right, by the small head and he will not be the last especially when you factor in that it's a younger woman right, who probably use all kind of tricks and trade and she probably know the game very well and know what to tell him just like how you have manual galleys right, and can use lyrics right, and catch women and lead them astray the professional woman them have lyrics who know if to catch man too but even though them get five people for confess I would still do some investigation because I wouldn't be surprised if this team, 
especially the kerosene and I'm on, probably set up and kill off other man and dump them all about the place. Because I saw them things I go. Come look at country. Come look at St. Mary. Come look at Portland. Oh, look, look go down at that bush there. You go down a bush there, that woman. Because that's how it working now. Let's not act like we're not big people. Man and that woman, bump on a trip. Woman are flirted and I touch you up. Woman are brace by you and I touch up the small head and I, you know, get you in the mood and then she say, Come, we could go behind them bush over there, sir. You not even think straight because the third leg already activated. And from the third leg activated, you know, say not much rational thinking will take place. Right? And you're just not expecting it because she seemed like a nice young lady. So you go on with her, go on back a bush, things say I get some eagle eye. And instead, you get some gunshot or you get some stab. And if a river you're there, if a beach you're there, then just chew in a river, chew in a sea, and you're gone. Nobody will find you. So, I wouldn't be surprised right, if this group killed other people. But, I guess now we'll never know. Anyway, Patreon Squad, big up on yourself. PIA, you don't know, no life. Vulture Squad, stay circling. Bless.